Maybe they're going off script. Oh, Kana is about to go off script. All right, he's got the angle. He has the ultimate. Dragon can't decide what it wants to do. Dragon's a, l a little bit unhappy as it is going to be the smite going the way of Cuz. And will there be a kill? Oh, oh, suplex on top of the entire team as T1 are demolishing them here. Will they get the ace is the real question. They're chasing them down. That's going to be three for zero now. As in goes Teddy, that'll be four. And Lee Sin just a little bit too hard to lock down. Otherwise, it would have been five. T1 get the drink. They get all the kills. And they're in an awesome place in this game now. They're in a fantastic place. That's that another would, option. Didn't yeah. even consider that. We are diving on the back line. Hybrid is so screwed. As, uh, yeah, he's waving goodbye to his poor teammates that are left without him. That's a double kill now for Teddy. As Faker is running way into that back line, avoiding the knockup up until oh. now. And then he dies. As huh? they have a really good Either way. With the Baron in minute oh. 43, and they're oh. gonna find this guy. Just plops down the cask on his Tell face. Him to take a drink. Yeah, drink this. And Danny will go. Nixu trying desperately, but he'll be flashed upon as yep. well. Cause his AP is greater than oh. the <laughs> the amount of resistances that the Poppy has. Another hook comes in as effort is just bopping Ooh. him this this day. Uh, so he's still going to be a force to be reckoned with. Not oh, they got him. him. That is not what you want. And that is going to be the kill going over to Kana. The beginning of the fight was a disaster, but the end, so, so good. And T1 should be able to just clean this one up. Chovy trying to burn down Kuz, but it's not going to be enough. The Ragnarok working out, and this time he'll flash after it. Okay. Dodge the Undertow and you win the fight, but it's just not going to happen, Chovy. What an obnoxious uh, okay. champion. Side steps, there's the undertow. Picks That's up the kill in the end. And Carrier, he's just respawned, but otherwise... I think Faker's gonna do the same thing again. He's gonna try to get the Zaya ultimate out with an R, but... Ooh, face break on cooldown as Faker okay. takes it as a chance to engage. Looks for the double knockup and gets it, but Death still able to kite as in goes Doran. Gets the face breaker onto Teddy. A lot of damage, but can he actually get any work done as Teddy flashes out of the way of Carrier's grand entrance. He's not going to fall just yet, but the health bars don't go back up Taraka on Dragon X's side. Yeah. T1s seem to just refill on a whim, and it's just not even difficult anymore. No. The, the scaling is online. Yeah, I, there's nothing Dragon X can do. One's not actually going to get too much done with that call of the Forge God, and T1 are going to pull back to battle lines. Joshik not even near this Drake at the moment as Doran is keeping it. Relatively Whoa. aggroed is okay. Over the wall goes Carrier, but into the back line goes Kana. Just obliterates Depth. Not a chance to do anything. Haymaker also not able to lock anyone down as the Mountain Drake went over to Pyoshik, but the team fight is all T1. And they've come together in the clutch, and now they're ahead by about a thousand. So a bit of an LS, right? Yeah, I'm doing a little bit the of... Val Danalus yeah. definitely getting that work done. As Myro is going to try and prove you right. But the Cosmic Radiance does come down. Fate's Call going to help out, but it's not really doing enough just yet. Sword coming in for the flank, but he's going to be really late. The turn is so comfortable for T1. As now Cuz buying time with his stopwatch. There's the redemption. The Wish comes down as well as Sword has to flash to get out. Faker <laughs> over the side, doesn't land the chain. But the dragon will try and kill Sword for him. Oh, oh effort! Beautiful flash to get forward as Faker locks down the kill. Now Irobe in trouble. Just a simple Q is going to do it there as Faker connects the chains to Tarzan. Has to Ragnarok. Second kill for Teddy out of those nine that we're looking for. And I have a feeling that's going to be the second of this team fight as well. Teddy locks down three for this game. Only six more to go as Viper. He is certainly in the sights of Teddy for that fourth option. Now Faker locks him down with the chain, and that is a waste of a stopwatch, my dude. All too easy. Ace comes in. It's a full house. Teddy's full of Fakers. And T1 will move to the Baron. And uh, look, the Valorant yeah. was the first pickup. That's why they were able to close that distance. Fabulous and fast. His sword has to flash to get out of the way of Faker, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The Ignite yeah. comes in. Obliterate is uh, named oh. incorrectly oh. there. As, uh, there's oh. the cannon barrage. It'll lock We're it down. We're going to the ship. <laughs> yeah, sword not invited. Sorry, not yeah. going to come to the ship. That is uh, cannon. 
And the next Infernal Dragon is up. And remember, Speaking of which, oh, he's been oh, able to man. isolate Secret here. He's totally fine. Lands that, and he kills him all alone. Teddy just taking out one member by himself. Syndra trying to do that to him, but it's not going to work out. T1 have been able to turn this game around. They're going to shut down three members just like that as the Infernal does come alive. All that T1 really needs to do is just recall group for the Mountain Dragon. It's so important for them to get it. Wallace, Wallace. he's got his ultimate. He's looking for it. Oh, man. And, uh, well, see you later. I don't know why he didn't just take it on draw. Oh, okay, stop watching. Yeah. But in that case, you shouldn't have gone for it in the beginning. Teddy in a little bit of a awkward position. Has a little alcove there because of the Mountain Soul. Ultimate comes out. Decent That's right now. Now it is a five on four around the Baron. Yeah, this is scary. APK could actually throw here. But effort is pretty low. They're trying to come in as four. As Baker what? is attempting an assassination. Oh, they but they get the hook onto Kaney. That's what he needed. As the 5v4 should go the way of T1. But hybrid is going to get flashed on. Down he does go. And Ixu should meet the same fate eventually. And is there a poppy. minion wave in mid? There is. And it's because Ixu is down a TP. And so they say, if we can burst it fast enough, maybe we can oh, do this. They're going to find Flawless, they, though. And yeah, he's they a, got Flawless. Yeah, he's a dead little void monster. Yep. That wasn't very Flawless, I'll tell you no. that. No. <laughs> full, full of flaws, that one. Yeah. Death's Infinity Edge? Kylo Ren. Okay. Yeah, you know, you, you love him, but he's, he's on the wrong side. Until. Yeah, well, we're not giving away any spoilers. As Kyoshin goes for the engage, it's not what he wants. And there's the turnaround on to Kuz. But look at the heal. It is just bonkers. Haymaker doing some work there, gathering the grid up. You and in goes Kyra, interrupts Teddy as much as he can. As now Faker is tanking the entirety of who's left on Dragon X. Oh, the Blade Caller though. Doran once again flying forward, but Effort controlling the fight. The Black Shields are so good. And the Soul Shackles were amazing. No way that Deft could get into a position to actually auto effectively. It's only two dead. Time around with only a Warrior in chance as far as damage stats. And uh, here it goes is. the Ornhorn. Baker finds one knock-up, but the Feather Storm there from Death will keep him alive. But look at this. Kuz is just so durable. All of the heals in there. The grid is fantastic, though. There's the equalizer. Perfect positioning for Dragon X as the bullet time flies out. But Teddy is now dead. Kyoshik now trying to run away, but Deft also fell down. Now three versus three is Chovy. Chovy looking got for Kana. Oh. oh, the barrier. Going to save their lives. It's an even trade in the end as Kana is so close to falling. But... He didn't. Dragon X do walk away. That was ideal positioning. That yeah. the first 10 minutes were going to be really crucial. And even though there was that Hail Mary Rift Herald team fight, it's just not enough. You could have that happen three times. You could raise all of the inner turrets if you're Dragon X. You will still lose 25 minutes plus almost every single team fight, assuming even skill level yeah. between the teams. And the Dragon X are trying to start this Faker. With a flank, Def doesn't have ult available. We're teleporting into the pit. We're going for this 50-50, but no, there's the knock-up on the cars. We lock down the Baron on Dragon X's side, but at what cost is the question? Already two are dead as Carrier is running away from effort. He does go into stasis. There's the bouncing bomb. And it looks like Chovy is the only man allowed to dress in purple this time around. I... Baron coming up in 30 seconds. There's another the one all. Yeah. yeah, they're looking for Chovy. Mega Inferno Bomb does come in, but there's the bullet time. Oh, Just they got gigantic him! Gigantic damage. And Carrier dies as an afterthought there as well as now Kana looking for the slice, looking for the dice. Hell the Meek going to come in, and, uh, and that eventually game, goes I golden. Think. But my god, the damage. The flash out, but there is nothing that he can do. Doran looking for two kills. Don't know whether he'll be able to find them as the kickback as Teddy just immediately QSSs it. And we'll just continue shooting. T1 have turned it around. 13 kills to three, and I believe most of those have happened they in have the last the 10 cannon. minutes. They have the Yeah, Teddy Oh, we got it up. with the yeah, Q. Kyoshik's just going to die. Kuz is going to lock that one down. And despite the draft, despite everything, T1 turn it and take down the Nexus over Drag. She can tell you what to do, but 
Not, shine. not the other way around. You certainly can't tell her which, that's how that one works. It's bullet time. We'll get a face call out of Mystic, who's now looking to try and take down the Olaf. He's got Flash available. Not going to get slowed just yet as in goes Keen. Diving on this fight as Kana has turned up just in the nick of time. Good knockoff is going to be in there as Kana's trying to get some shields out on the rest of the players. But that's the Akali going down a solo shockwave. Oh! We'll get that kill over to Faker. As now T1 have formed the Phalanx and Effort goes golden in the front line. Fly to be taken down the Haymaker. Not going to work this time around. And now Afrika are scattering. Yeah. Yep, Dredge oh, not undertow. going to do it there. Yeah, Undertow lands there from Cuz. We'll find the next one also as Teddy cleanses, tries to find Mix it, Mystic, but the last auto attack is not going to register. No inhibitors on the LS. No. So this is a fight against the clock more than anything else. As there's a Dredge Line onto Keen. But the Cosmic Radiance comes down and will keep him alive for quite some time after the Zonya's Hourglass. Bullet time is going to buy some space here as now they get to focus on the front tanky. line. Yeah, Fly should be taken here as the Dredge Line. Connect Spirit going to be the first one to go down though as Faker gets his first kill. Should be able to grab a second as Keen finds himself as the only man alive. Dredge line once again from Effort. T1, a star-studded performance across the board. They'll get the ace and they'll just win the game. They don't need no Baron.